Okay, so now we want to get the sound slider to start working. So I'm in assets, flooded grounds and scenes, all right, where we've got all of our main scene material. I'm gonna right click in here and choose create and a new audio mixer. I'm gonna call this uh, master volume. All right, this is gonna allow us to change the volume for all the, all the sounds that we've added. Okay, so while I've got that selected, I'm gonna to go to window and I'm gonna to go to audio and audio mixer. All right, and that's gonna open this new tab. So we can see this. Now, obviously these are all the different mixers that we've got in the game. At the moment, we're under the master volume. Okay, so what we wanna do, we wanna drag this one right up to the top. If we can, nope, we can't. Okay, so um, low health, we're gonna click this and we're gonna drag it over master volume. All right, I'm just gonna click master, double click. And that makes low health a child of master volume. So that when we change the master volume, um, whatever volume that is, it's gonna affect whatever's underneath it. Let's do the same with enemy sound. Let's just drag that onto master volume. Double click master, there we go. So both of those are associated. So you can use as many audio mixes as you like and then associate them all with one master control. I don't know what these others are. I'm pretty sure that we're not using those. Okay, so for master volume then, uh, we actually want to control this in script. We want to control this volume attenuation fader, it's called, this volume level. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna click master until we can see this in the inspector. And now we need to expose a parameter. At the moment it's saying zero. So we're gonna click on, right click on volume and expose, expose that volume. Okay, so now when we click on it, we can see my exposed param. I'm just gonna double click in order to rename it. And we'll call it volume with a capital V. There we go. All right, so we've exposed that. Now what we need to do is to go to my assets uh, and sounds. We need to find all of these sounds, like intro sound right down to single sound object. Nope, maybe not single sound object then. The other ones. Okay, and where we see output, non-audio mixer group, let's just click on this and we're gonna choose master volume. Okay, so all of those are now associated with the master volume. This single sound object, this one shot, let's do the same. So master volume. Okay, um, I don't think, oh, we've got a UI sound. Um, can't remember what that one was. Uh, oh, it's just, just a select button, isn't it? This one I think was the gunshot sound. We don't want to affect that, that's perfectly fine. Um, now there are a bunch of other sounds already in the game that were already there to begin with. I think they're at a pretty good level, so I would probably leave those. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is this sound level, we're gonna drag it up or down based on how uh, loud or how quiet you want it to be. Its current value is zero. Its maximum value is 20, so you definitely don't want to go above 20, otherwise, you know, it's going to sound really weird. Uh, and its lowest value is minus 80. Okay, so let's go to our sound slider then. And where we can see minimum value, let's put it on minus 80. Its maximum value, uh, I'll put on about 5. Really don't want to go up to 20, because I think that's too much. 5 is probably really, really loud. Anyway, um, and so at zero, you can see where it is there. In fact, maybe I'll push it up to 10 and go really crazy. Okay, so that now you can see that that's zero. That will make it quieter. That will make it even louder. Okay, depending on what people want. Great, so we've done that. Now we need to go back to our script. So let's go to our options controls. Um, now we are using the audio um, collection. So we need to tell Unity. So we're using Unity engine dot audio. There we go. Okay, so for this one then, um, we need a new slider. So this is gonna be public slider. We will call this a volume level, maybe. Okay, um, and we obviously need um, some kind of public void. All right, so we've already got it for fog and for anti-aliasing. Let's go below that one. So let's say public 
void, uh, and we'll call it uh, volume, maybe. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so we've not used that previously. Uh, now what we need to do is set our volume on our mixer to, to match the value of the slider. All right, so that's pretty easy. So we're gonna say that, um, now what do we call us? What do we call that? Uh, wait, wait a second, we need to actually make sure that we have an audio mixer in here. That's what I was forgetting. Public uh, mixer, so it's an audio mixer. And we will call this one, let's call it master volume. Since that's pretty much what it is, yeah? Uh, so once we've got our master volume, then we can say that master volume dot, and we need to set a float, uh, and it's asking for a string name and a value. So the string name was volume, that's what we exposed before, and the value is going to be, what did we, what did we call our slider? We called it volume level, volume level dot value. Okay, so whatever number that is returning. And that's it. Okay, so that will now um, change the audio levels for all those sounds. Okay, so pretty easy. Um, so now when we go back to our options panel, we will now see that we've got a couple of uh, new empty slots. One of them is volume level, which is looking for a slider. Okay, so that is gonna be sound slider. And it's looking for an audio mixer. So if you go back to our project, that is this. So let's drag our master volume into there. Now we need to go back to uh, the sound slider and we need to associate that uh, function with this. Okay, so let's click plus. Let's go to our options panel and just drag that into there. And the function is from options controls and it was of course volume. Okay, and that will actually control that. 